Oi, 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 Minecraft video. Let's get started. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Mazalia here on the Empire's SMP, where today we're going to be focusing on the mega base, the beast, the Mazalian Palace. Now, of course, we have a new emperor on the server, and as you can see from my hand, the rule is we have to eat cake. So you have Lizzie to thank for that. There's going to be cakes spread everywhere in my base, I have a feeling. But it does mean that I've got some spare smallish bean skulls. Look at that. Very nice. Now, cakes don't stack, so I've got this shulker box here with some cakes in it, and I'm going to try and place them down as little as possible, meaning my hunger is going to just drain, as it drains so much quicker than when I eat golden carrots. And Lizzie's actually online right now. Mm. I have a proposition for her. I keep going to right-click to eat, but I can't. There's a cake in here somewhere. There we go. Now, let me get these out, and I'm going to ask her if this is okay. I don't think it will be. So let's see if we can go find her. And if not, we can find the bakery, which is here. Is there any cakes left in the barrels? Oh, yeah, she has one stock left. Hey, Joel. Hey, Lizzie. How's it going? I'm okay, thanks. What are you here what are you, for? What, what is this? Oh, Jesus. Um, I had a question. Can I eat this? Of course not. Look at it, though. What is it? They're, they're carrots. They're golden carrots. No, that's carrot cake. It's a slice. Look, it's a, a golden slice of carrot cake. No. It, why are there only 63? Uh, because I only took 63 out of my chest so I could leave one in my chest. Is that true? That is true. I've been eating cake. Can you not see it in my hand and my, my cake crate? Oh, I should have named it my cake crate. I just named it my cakes. <laughs> I've missed out on nice. something there. Um... No, you cannot eat a golden carrot which you have nicknamed Carrot Cake. That is very disappointing. Okay, have you got any cake lying around? Uh, I have a bakery uh, where I sell cake. One. Goodbye. Oh, thanks. No worries. My plan has been foiled. Looks like I'm going to actually have to eat cake. Yeah, oh, gosh. So we're going to have a lot of cakes. And you know what we need for a lot of cakes? A lot of storage, and I'm just kidding, we don't actually need that for the cakes, but we do need storage as our storage system at the moment we've had since, oh my gosh, creeper. Oh jeez, nearly blew up. As I was saying, our storage system we've had since nearly like episode one, I don't know actually when we've had it, and although it is decent, you'll see in some chests, I actually can't find one, I, I can't find one now, but I used to have shulkers with items in here, look because I can't fit all my oak logs in this one chest. And I've also got things like this just lying around, got bits all over the place, etc. It just doesn't work. So we're going to make ourselves a big storage system. And of course, it's going to go in our mega base, which means the storage system also has to be mega. And where's it going to go? Well, I always find it's best to put the thing you're going to use most in the center of your room. So it's going to go up here. It's going to go above both of these things. Well, it's going to actually reach the edge of there. And we're going to have an automated chest system, which I actually really like. They're always really useful in every world I play in. And although they take a long time, once it's done, you don't have to worry about it. So of course, I've been busy designing a cool looking chest system in my creative world, and I'm excited to show you, but we need a lot of materials. What materials do we need? All of these, as you can see, there's a lot of chests, but also all of these. Oh gosh, that's actually quite a lot, isn't it? So this may take a bit of a while. Oh my gosh, my hunger's getting low already, these stupid cakes. So it's been a while, but it's time to bring back the pile. And no, that wasn't a diss track or a rap. That was just me being clever. And hopefully after we're done with this pile, we can put it in our new storage system. Although I'm not sure if I'm going to get all of that built today, aka the sorting part. Because as you probably saw from that material list there, it, it's, it's big. So I need a lot of wood for a lot of chests, so I chopped a lot of wood. I also ate some cake, then I got making that wood into some chests, which very quickly eats through your wood. So I started planting some trees to chop some more wood, then I spotted this guy, and I was very confused. A cake enforcer in my area? What's he doing here? I backed off slowly and scaredly, and then I went and bone milled my trees, until I noticed I wasn't alone. Lizzie, what are you doing? Nothing. Doesn't Just look like looking nothing. looking at these flowers here. Are you checking on me? I've been eating cakes. Good to know. Good to know. I've not been just eating anything. My... I've just been eating cakes. I've been witnessing that. Okay. 
That was weird. But anyway, I chopped down some more trees. Then I ate some more cake, had a sleep and then ate some more cake. And then I went back to chopping more trees until I could make some more chests, which as you could see, had my inventory in a complete mess. But we had a load of chests now, all the chests we need. But I still needed some more wood for actual decorating. So I went and chopped some more wood and ate some more cake. I then added all the spruce wood stuff I needed into my pile, gathered some sandstone, added that to the pile, ate some cake, went and got my beacon, took it out here and then mined a load of terracotta because I needed terracotta for the build. I then took home my beacon with all the terracotta that I had just gathered. I ate some cake. And then I went and bone milled this flower here to get some dye to dye my terracotta. I also dyed it lime as well. I put on some terracotta to smelt, gathered some saplings and some birch wood, and then ate some more cake and then planted those saplings and chopped down those saplings in a little time lapse here before eating some more cake. And then I went back and made some trapdoors with that acacia wood before planting some more acacia wood and making some more acacia trapdoors. Stop spying on me. It's very creepy. I'm just making sure. Making sure what? That you're not eating any illegal substances. I've got my cake here. I've been eating it. There's cake everywhere. Empty your hot bar. My hot bar? Right now. This is a stop and search. There you go. Where are the carrots, Joel? I don't have any carrots. I put them all in Where my chest. Where are the carrots? I've been using cakes. I've been documenting me using them. All right. Did you just eat some of my cake? I did, yeah. Yeah, that's precious to me. After dealing with that thief, I went and chopped down some crimson wood and some warped wood in the nether as well as some shroom light. Also got attacked by this piglin here and nearly died, which is kind of a shame. But that's what you have to deal in the nether when you have to eat cake. It's very, very awkward. I also killed this hoglin child because it just looked at me funny. And uh, it's quite fun to just chase them down and kill them. Anyway, back to eating cake and gathering materials where I ate some more cake and then I made some lanterns, ate some more cake, went to Lizzie's guardian farm to steal some prismarine only to find that guardians were dying all over the place. As, as I was leaving with my stolen prismarine, I noticed that Lizzie was actually AFK in the farm, which was kind of funny. Oh, well, I killed some squids to get some ink sacks to make some dark prismarine, which I did after eating some more cake, of course. And then I turned those into dark prismarine stairs as well as some normal prismarine stairs, got my orange glazed terracotta, added it all to the pile, and then, of course, ate some more cake. Got some glazed green terracotta, also some cyan glass, and then went and collected some red sand to make some more red sandstone, and then I ate some more cake, and then I headed home and made some red sandstone stuff. Well, that took forever, but we finally have all of the materials we need. There's a lot of awkward to gather materials in here, but we got them. This chest system is ready to be built. And also, I found Jeremy wandering around. I don't know what he was doing. This is the first llama we got when we first moved up into this area over here. He used to run a lead over there, but someone must have let him free. But he's a good lad, is Jeremy. He came straight home, and I've tied him up to this fence here for now. But anyway, let's gather all of our stuff and head on over to the interior of the mega base, where we're going to set out on a very big time lapse. I'm scared of mobs spawning in and killing me, but hopefully we don't get any creep explosions. It's just that up in these little nooks and crannies, occasionally you get them spawning in and they fall on you. But oh well, it's time for me to do that thing where I say let's do a time lapse and we do a time lapse. So let's do a thing and let's let that thing be a time lapse. Take it away. Me. So I started off by placing a spruce temporary floor before adding on the floor design that we've got down by the entrance hall And then we got working on adding in the chests. Oh my gosh, so many chests I think it was ten and a half stacks of chests I then added on this decoration here as well as these pillars coming up to meet that and we had this sort of little roof section And I also added in some chandeliers dangling and also this central weird thing. I am Super happy of this. I think this looks awesome. This may be the best chest room I've ever built. It actually looks interesting. I love it. It's so good. Not to toot my own horn, but I've done a great job here. But how many chests are there? That's what you're wondering. Well, let me tell you by quickly adding them all up. One, two, three, four. I'm kidding. There's 360 in total. However, there's two chests per item, so it holds 180 items. That's, that's a lot. And as you can see here at the end, um, it kind of just cuts off. And that's mainly because I don't know how I'm going to link it up to everywhere else yet. But also, there's nothing on this section here as we're going to add in a sort of, you know, bit where you can put a shulker box in. It'll sort it and send it off into the chest system. But to do that, we got to place a load of hoppers and we need a lot more chests. Oh, gosh. Wait, where's my ender chest? Uh-oh. Oh, thank goodness. I desperately need a sorting system as my inventory is already a mess and luckily we have a lot of oak logs here which means we can make a lot of chests but we're getting kind of low on cakes 
which is slightly worrying. So let's go see if that crate is still available at Lizzie's Bakery. But we have to trade a load of Mizalian goodies. So I guess we'll take some terracotta and some moss. I'm actually going to throw in some green dye as I have too much green dye. Like seriously, this thing has been overflowing for ages. So I kind of need to get rid of it. I thought I'd need a lot of green dye when I made this thing. Turns out I don't need a lot of green dye. In fact, do you not be quite fun? I'm not sure if this will break everything, but it'll be interesting nonetheless. If I go through here, I think if I break this furnace, I will get XP. Let's see how much XP we get. Oh my gosh. Over 30 levels were in that. That's crazy. I think that just like completely fixed my pickaxe as well. I'll have to watch the footage back. That was mad. I'm glad I waited to do that. That was good fun. Anyway, let's head over to the shop here. Is there any cake left? Oh, yes. Look there. Lizzie's collected everything else it looks like. So let's take ourselves some cake. Transfer that over. Pick up all the cake. Plop it in here. Jobs are good in cake in four. So I've traded so much stuff there. This took me a long time to get all this for some cake. Rules are rules, I guess. Oh, golden carrots, I miss you so much. Please come back to me soon. Now, eating all this cake has made me angry because I'm sick of cake. And you know what? Too much of a good thing, aka cake, is sometimes bad. So I need to go release some stress quickly. Come with me, won't you? On a magical adventure. And I think you know what's coming. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was not fun. I've flown 2,000 blocks to be here. And I think you know why. Don't you, Mr. Horse? Yes, don't you know, Mr. Horse? POV, you're the horse that I'm coming to kill. <laughs> no. Water won't save you. <laughs> Give me the head. Guys, I'm not crazy. Horses are just a great source of leather, all right? That's why I'm doing all this. I promise you that's the only reason. I've flown quite far out. I wonder if this has been raided. I'm not sure if anyone's ever been here before. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's how you know I'm really far out. Any gapples? Any gapples? Any gapples? There's a gapple. Ah, oh, there's no god apples though. That's just disappointing. Yes. <sighs> One sec, need to stop and eat cake. And back to business. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Skywalker, there's too many of them. What are we going to do? People often ask, Joel, does this make you feel tall? Does this make you feel strong killing these helpless horses? Yes, it does. Seeing as I'm moving into my mega base soon, it just makes sense to fill up my horse head collection now. As I won't be using my house as much anymore. And I want to leave it with fond memories. All right, I think that's enough heads for today. Let's head home. Where is home? This way is home. Okay. You know you have a bit of a problem when you use up more than a stack of rockets just to find horses to kill. All right, let's eat some cake and then let's put these horse heads on display. Oh, we're not going to fill up our room just yet. I think I was quite ambitious when I set out with this goal. Although to be honest with you, we've only got one, two, three, four spaces left, and then we're done. Oh no, there's one there. Five spaces left. Not bad, not bad at all. So let's have a quick gander how many horses we killed now. 178, getting close to that 200 number. Very nice. But quickly, we have a decent amount of iron from sausage just giving us iron, as you can see here. So let's see how many hoppers we can make in preparation for finishing our chest room. I'm pretty sure we need eight stacks of hoppers, roughly. So this is probably not gonna be enough. So I've still got a bit of iron left, as you can see here, but not a huge amount, but I've used up all my wood, and this is how many we've got. Let's place these down on the back of these here and see how far we get. Now, the main problem is we need three hoppers per two chests. And also, you have to place them into a block like this, which is very awkward. And I keep falling off like this. <laughs> the answer, how many could we do? Pretty good. These are the only chests we have left to do. Not bad whatsoever. We should have enough iron and enough hoppers to finish this off next time. And then we can start placing the redstone. Oh my gosh. It's going to take a while. But 
it'll be easy to get done and then we can get sorting, baby. But for now, guys, we've ran out of time. That is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.